Hey everybody, what's going on? Got another comment response video here. This one actually coming from Instagram. This comment's coming from Bospin. He said, hi man, can I request a tutorial about a profile I saw? It won't work with my Black Widow Elite, so I have to make it for Synapse 3, and it's basically for Synapse 2. I would be so happy if you can accept some profile requests. So to answer your question, yes, I do accept profile requests. He then proceeded to send me a link of the video he was talking about. So I'm just gonna put that video up real quick. The design is called Rainbow Madness and it, it was uploaded by Razor Chroma Profiles. It's a really cool design with lots of color, but they don't show you how to make it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this video real quick. So as you can see, there's a rainbow design going two directions with a black ripple effect. So this design is actually very, very easy. Probably the easiest one I've ever done. However, it's also one of the coolest designs I've ever seen on a keyboard. I'm so excited about this design, guys, and we're gonna jump right into it. All right guys, so right off the bat, what you wanna do is you wanna click on these three dots right up here and you wanna click on rename. And you're gonna to wanna to rename your Razor Chroma effect to Rainbow Madness or whatever you wanna name it that's going to distinguish this effect from all the other effects that you have in your library. Once you have that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a wave effect layer over here on the left. If you have something else selected over here, no problem. All you have to do is click on these three dots and click on wave and that'll give you your wave layer. Next, just as an organizational thing, what you can do is you can right click on your wave layer and rename it, and we're just gonna name this one Wave Right. Just like that, hit save. So now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go through and we're gonna select every other vertical line going to the right. Hold Control and just start selecting some every other vertical line that you see on your keyboard. I'm gonna skip the space bar just because the space bar is so big and it creates issues when trying to make a uniform design on your keyboard. So these are the keys that I'm going to be using for my wave right layer. If you have a razor mouse at this time, you can hold control and you can also select over your razor mouse. Once you have your keys selected, you're gonna click on this color dropdown gradient and you're gonna choose the multicolor pattern over here on the left. Everything's gonna stay the same. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your angle is at 90 degrees. Everything else stays the same and hit save. So now that we have our wave right complete, we're gonna go ahead and start our new wave. So you're gonna add a wave layer down here on the left. And as an organizational thing, you're gonna name this one wave left. Now real quick, I just wanna exploit one of the bugs that Razor Synapse has. So if you create a wave layer like I did here and you don't click on any other layers, when you go to select your keys, like say I want these keys to be a wave layer. Now, if I haven't clicked on any other effect layer, when I click on this drop down, it's not gonna give me any colors. So you can see right there it's blocking my patterns i have no selectable patterns here it's really frustrating and you can't get rid of it so real quick i'm going to show you guys how to fix this bug all you have to do is click on your other effect layer and then click back that's it and now when you choose a certain number of keys you can click and you'll have your patterns here again we're going to go ahead and start with wave left make sure you have wave left checked over here on the left and you're gonna hold control and you're gonna choose any keys that don't have an effect layer on them. So I'm gonna choose all of these dark keys. So there I've selected all of my other keys that I have not selected already. While I'm making this effect layer, I realized I wanted my scroll wheel to do one of the wave effects and my razor logo on my mouse to do the other. So I'm just gonna select my scroll wheel, that way it's on wave left. Go ahead and click that color drop down 
click on your multicolor pattern. You don't have to touch anything right here. All you have to change is your angle at 270 degrees. Everything looks good. Hit save. And that's all there is to the main part of this rainbow design. If you want the black ripple on your keyboard, we're going to get right into that right now. On the bottom left, go ahead and click ripple to add a new ripple layer. Don't fall victim to that bug. Go ahead and click on the other effect layer and then back into ripple. Now what I'm going to do with my ripple effect is I'm only going to select my keyboard and I'm not going to choose my mouse. I'm doing this because I only want the ripple effect to happen when I click on my keyboard and I don't want it to happen when I click on my mouse. So now that I have my keyboard chosen, I'm just going to click on this color drop down, choose a single color over here on the right. And the hex code you're going to want to use for this is 010000. Everything looks good. Change your width to 200%. Change your speed to 20. And under playback, under start, Make sure you change it from on press to on selected keys. What this is going to do is it's only going to do this ripple effect if I click one of my selected keys here. That allows me to use my mouse without getting the black ripple effect. Go ahead and hit save. And that is all there is to this design. As you guys can see, if I click on my keyboard, it creates a black ripple. If I click on my mouse, it does nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get a notification the minute I upload a new keyboard lighting video. Thanks again guys and I'll see you in the next one.